Let's look at an example where we use Newton's second law and the technique of drawing and using free body diagrams. Uh, we have a box being dragged along the ground and the box has a mass of 8 kilograms and there's a 24 Newton force being applied to it by that string or rope and the angle between the string and the horizontal is 35 degrees, we want to find the acceleration of the box and the normal force on the box. And we are ignoring friction here. We'll get to friction problems later in the unit. And so step one is to draw a free body diagram and we need to draw and label all the forces acting on it. And so you can draw a dot like the book does or I just if it's a box I draw a box. And then we think about what are the forces on the box. Only forces on the box, not forces the box is applying to other things. And so there's gravity, which uh, you can call weight, but it's equal to the mass times little g. And then there's an upward force from the ground. Uh, we call that the normal force because of its direction is perpendicular or normal to the ground. And then there's the force of the string, which we call tension. Uh, tension indicates that you can only pull, you can't push very easily anyway with a string. And so that's step one. Now, even if you don't know how to do anything else in the problem, do step one. Step two is to indicate a coordinate system and almost always we put one axis in the direction of the acceleration, at least if we know it. And so I'm going to just say up is positive y, to the right is positive x, and then also I'm going to add where theta is on my free body diagram, so that can be helpful. Step three is to write Newton's second law for each direction. And so we have some of the forces in the x, um, and in the x direction we just have one force, the horizontal component of the tension. And so that would be this side of the triangle, and you can see that's adjacent. So that's going to be the hypotenuse, the tension times cosine of the angle, and that equals ma. So that's the only force in the x. Then in the y direction, some of the forces equal ma. Well, there's no acceleration in the y direction. The box is not losing contact uh, with the ground, and it's not going up. And in the y direction, we have three forces. And so we have the normal force. We have the opposite side of this triangle, the upward component of the tension, T sine theta, and then we have gravity acting down. So those three together have to add up to zero. And so now we've got our equations. The physics is done. The rest is just algebra. We solve for the unknowns and substitute given quantities. And so in the x direction, solve for the acceleration, T cosine theta over the mass, and that comes out to be 2.46 meters per second per second. In the y direction, solve for the normal force. It's the weight minus T sine theta. So you can see the normal force is not going to equal the weight. If the box was on a scale, the scale would read less than the weight while you're pulling up on that uh, string. And so the normal force comes out to 64.63 newtons. And so this is a typical problem, but if you want to practice, how about see what you could do. What if they gave you the acceleration and the normal force? Could you solve for the tension and the angle? And so try that one out. The algebra is a little trickier, but you should be able to do it.